All right, praise the Lord. It's a hot man a minute, and today we've got a teaching chilling by this little creek in the bushes with y'all. And I want to talk about the weapon of gentleness. And this is one I really struggle with that the Lord's been trying to teach me for a long time, and I think I'm finally starting to listen. I like this little stream it reminds me of psalm one so i'm just chilling here with y'all today and we're about to get into some gentleness y'all so first and foremost let's talk about gentleness gentleness is one of the nine fruits of the holy spirit found in galatians 5 22 and 23 meaning it is a direct nature and reflection and characteristic of god almighty and jesus christ all right so it's important that we demonstrate this trait in our walk. Um, gentleness is a weapon because we serve God in an upside down kingdom, right? In God's kingdom, we get to the top by submitting and serving, okay? He who is greatest in the kingdom will be servant of all. It's an, a reverse kingdom. It's a backwards kingdom, right? Um like King David at the end of us, 1 Samuel, when it says David strengthened himself in the Lord as God, David's situation would have dictated that he became a, a violent ruler and, and take charge of the situation. But rather than doing that, he submitted himself to the Lord his God. Right? It's a reversal kingdom. So in this reversal kingdom, whereas a warrior would exceed or excel using brute force or strength or aggression it's the opposite we exercise gentleness okay the weapons of our warfare are not carnal okay for we don't war against flesh and blood so in this warfare we take up the weapon of gentleness which in my opinion is one of the most difficult to yield properly but there's some scriptures on it so let's look at it let's start with proverbs 15. we're going to go right into proverbs 15 here verse one sorry guys jeez a soft answer turns away wrath but a harsh word stirs up anger so we see that gentleness turns away wrath okay gentleness can turn away wrath in a situation um so keep that in mind like when you're in a heated argument or debate that gentleness can turn away that situation and sort of shift the tide of the entire conversation galatians 6 1 Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness, considering yourself, lest you also be tempted. So gentleness brings restoration to the broken. Okay. Uh, it's raining out here. And the whole point why I'm sitting by this little creek in the rain out here today is the flowers are coming up. Okay. And where the flowers come up, they open their petals to receive the water. But if the rain comes down too harsh, the flower closes back up and doesn't receive water. But if the rain comes down soft, the flower opens and the petals receive water. Okay? Keep that in mind with these scriptures, that gentleness. We can restore the broken with gentleness. We can turn away a wrathful conversation with gentleness. Okay, there's a fish in Florida called the redfish. When you fish for this type of redfish, it's like what it's called, it's in Florida. When you cast your bait, if you tug your lure too hard or jerks too much, right? It spooks the fish and you won't bite. But if you cast your bait, gentle and just let it set the red fish will bite we need to be in the same way with our street preaching or spiritual warfare whatever your call to ministry is i mean even the holy spirit descended as a dove lowly and gentle what happens when you spook a dove it will flee right our messiah knew these things and i want to show you what jesus does 
You know, let's look at the actual Greek here. Matthew 21, verse 5. Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, the king of you comes to you, gentle and mounted on a donkey, even upon a colt, the fowl, the beast of burden. Jesus comes gentle. Ooh, Lord, what's that one scripture? Man, thank you, Lord. Matthew eleven twenty nine. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay. Take my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Jesus comes gentle, right? Gentleness isn't letting a matter go that's wrong because Jesus confronted the religious Pharisees of his day, right? But we restore the broken with a spirit of gentleness, humility, lowliness, right? We manifest the, the weapon of our warfare. And this, one of the nine weapons that we have is gentleness. So learn how to yield it properly, brothers and sisters. I pray you all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.